Welcome to this session on modifying the wall type. So we initially placed this default wall, but now we might be to a point where we actually know the materials that we want on the wall, that perhaps it's a brick wall on a metal stud with a jip interior. And so we're gonna go in and modify the wall type. Now we can actually do this all at once. In other words, we can select all the walls that we want to modify and make those modifications at once. And there's actually several ways we can create these selection sets. And we will look at those different ways as we go through the course. The first way I'm going to show you here is just using our selection tool. So there is this selection tool over here. I'm going to just click on that. And this is the default tool in Open Buildings Designer. If you notice, I have it set here for an individual mode and, and new. So um, basically creating a new selection set. And this works and then there's a number of ways to actually select the item. So of course, I could just go through and click on each item I want. If I hold my control key, I can create multiple items. But I could also use a like a crossing window. So if I go from the upper left to the lower right, it's basically like an inside fence. So anything within that window gets selected. And then a, a data point just in space will deselect those items. But if I start at the right and go to the left, it creates a crossing window. So there, everything I cross will get selected. Okay, so left to right is an inside window. Right to left is a crossing. So now I have all the walls selected. And I'm going to come up to my, again, Modify Ribbon. And I'm going to select this Modify Properties tool. So this Modify Properties tool can be used on any number of elements. And it will look at those elements and, and determine what the type is and then what needs to be modified. So you'll see here, if we say Modify Properties, it shows my wall there. It's an example default wall, and it brings up the properties of the wall. Now I could just come in here and individually change properties. For instance, if we wanted to change the height of, of those walls. But in this case, we're actually changing this type here. So I'm gonna pull that down and I actually have a, again, this will be an example wall type. And we're gonna find this one here. It's brick plus, those two vertical lines always indicate a stud. So brick plus a stud plus Joe. So I select my new wall type. And then this is going to, when you change a wall type, it's going to open a second dialog that lets you determine which properties need to change and which ones need to stay. So for most of these, we're going to select the new value. Anything that's in blue is selected. The one that will, will keep the old value is the height, the 15 feet. But I think everything else, we can change it to the new value. And then we're going to select OK. And then it's a left click in the view to accept. And there you can see we now have a brick wall on the exterior. And there's several layers to this wall, as you can see, but this is the, the stud layer and then the jip layer. Let's go ahead and check, close that property panels. We could also come up here, notice that on each of these views, there's a set of tools, different tools, for instance, to rotate the view, to turn a camera on and off, uh, zooming in and out. But one of them we can do is change the display style. So the display style is just different setups that will render the, the view differently. So for instance, we could select a monochrome view. There's a couple different presentation views. Um, you know, we could do a blue line with shadows. But we're gonna select this one here. There's an example one, which is full color modeling. It's just a look a little bit nicer. It's using the materials that are on the, the parts there. So we can zoom in and see our brick there. 
So we now have the, the compound wall with the layers of, of chip and stud and brick in the model. And in the next session, we'll add doors. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.